Matter just dropped its biggest update of the year. Version 1.5 finally brings smart home camera support. So let's break this down and discuss why it actually matters. My name is Shane and this channel is all about building an easy and effective smart home. We've got new videos and live streams every week, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Now, for those that may not know, Matter is a universal smart home standard created by Apple, Google, Amazon, Samsung, and dozens of other companies. In theory, it means fewer compatibility issues and a smarter smart home that actually works together one standard, local control. I'd say that the Matter standard is still in its infancy, but they've been making some real progress over the past couple of years, and they just released version 1.5, possibly the biggest update yet that brings a few updates, including something we've all been waiting for, camera support. The Matter standard now officially supports all types of cameras. We got video doorbells, indoor and outdoor cameras, floodlight cameras, wired or battery powered cameras, baby monitors, pan and tilt cameras, you name it. This is a major milestone because I'd say that cameras were probably the biggest missing category in the Matter standard until now, of course. So some of the features that Matter will support are live video and audio streaming for both local and remote access, multiple streaming configurations, including resolutions up to 4K, pan, tilt, and zoom controls, motion detection, privacy zones, and flexible storage options, all that supported within Matter. Now, Matter cameras can work over Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or power over Ethernet. We are told that Matter support is backwards compatible, meaning existing cameras could get Matter support via an over-the-air firmware update. Now this of course is completely up to the camera manufacturers to decide if they will roll out updates and which cameras will get those updates. The new spec supports both continuous recording and event-based recording, which is great. It also supports local on-device or local network recording and cloud recording. Now, just because the updated Matter spec exists does not mean your cameras or even your favorite brands will support it. It's entirely up to the camera manufacturers to adopt Matter for either new cameras or roll out support to existing cameras. And there's also inevitably gonna be some features that will still require a manufacturer's app. Think of things like advanced analytics, maybe object or person detection, other AI features and stuff like that. Not to mention features may still be limited by your smart home ecosystem. We don't know when the ecosystems like Apple Home, Amazon's Alexa, Google Home, etc., will support Matter 1.5. And even when they do, you still may be limited by what features are accessible. For example, at the time of this recording, Apple doesn't support camera resolution over 1080p, and there are no pan and tilt controls, even if your camera supports 4K and pan and tilt. So that's something to keep in mind too, just because the Matter spec supports it and you have a Matter supported camera does not mean you'll get all those controls necessarily in your smart home ecosystem. So it just depends on the ecosystems regarding what they will support. So what does this mean for you, the consumer? First, it's a huge step in the right direction as we'll get more cross-platform compatibility. With a Matter camera, you're not gonna have to worry about you know whether your camera supports Apple Home or Google Home or whatever smart home ecosystem. You can actually use your camera in multiple ecosystems if you want as long as it supports Matter. Of course, that only applies once these ecosystems have updated to Matter 1.5. It's also a chance to build a more future-proof camera setup in your smart home. You can use cameras, again, in multiple ecosystems, and my hope is that there will be less ecosystem or manufacturer tie-in requiring subscriptions and things like that. And once again, remember that the ecosystem rollout will take some additional time. Apple for example, is known to be a little behind on updating HomeKit to support the latest Matter spec. If you already have smart home cameras, especially if they are relatively new, I'd check with the manufacturer of those cameras to see 
if they plan to roll out matter support for existing cameras. And for those who may be interested in new cameras, we're likely going to see new cameras with matter support out of the box as early as this year. X Things has already announced the Ulticam IQ V2, an AI powered spotlight camera with matter support available at the end of December 2025. This is a 4K camera with AI features built in, local and cloud storage options, and much more. So, the big question now, especially for Apple users, is when will Apple support Matter 1.5? And when they do, Will they actually support the full spec, 4K, pan and tilt controls? We just don't know yet. If they do, then it's gonna be a huge, long overdue update for cameras in HomeKit. The Matter 1.5 spec also brings support for closures such as shades, drapes, gates, garage doors. We got soil sensors and better smart watering features as well as better energy management. All that is now supported with the new update. It is a massive update for Matter, and the next few months are going to be interesting. CES is right around the corner, and we're almost guaranteed to see new Matter-ready cameras and more ecosystem announcements, hopefully. It feels like Matter is finally starting to mature, and adding camera support is going to be a significant change in the industry, in my opinion. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of that and other updates. It's a very exciting time, I think, in the smart home, and I think 2026 is gonna be a big year. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.